What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? Craig Zobie, digital media producer. Today, if I don't got the finest, and I'm one of the finest, Locals only, nigga, where was you born? Nobody ever seen you before Excuse me, pardon me Young kids getting high in a world apart Young niggas start shooting and it wasn't even dark My swag is stupid, trippy, huh? Sticky and kick My brother's pizza piece like a hippie, huh? How you doing today, boss? Man, I'm good, bro, I'm blessed, man I'm glad to be here Thank you, man. I appreciate you for coming in. And honestly, the, the quick response from me contacting you and you're replying, excellent, man. With and, and I know ever since I met you, you've been nothing but supportive to not just me, but all of the local artists here in Portland. And, and, and it's crazy, man. You're a busy man, bro. You have like multiple roles. You're a father. For sure. What other roles? Husband, uh, brother, uh, of course a son, CEO. I'm one of the flagship artists for my company, clothing designer, uh, yeah, I think the writer, um, damn near director. Forget step manager at some point. Uh, <laughs> the list just goes on. But no, man, overall, the reason why I did have you here today is that, bro, you got a lot of special stuff going on. New song that already just dropped. For sure. Yes, sir. Title, once again, go to tell us a little bit about it. Needed, featuring Westside Boogie, JC Cordetta. Westside, lots of million in this bitch. Okay, okay, okay. LA, baby. Shut my nigga Swiss man down. But yeah, that's the new joint, man. Needed. It's the first single off my upcoming album, Movie Money. And so, yeah, bro, I'm excited at the response and shit. How many views is on that thing by now, you said? Uh, at this point, it's like 12 or 13,000. Which is like for independent artists, that's huge. Like, I feel like it's nothing wrong with playlisting. Correct. There's nothing wrong with paying for uh, for promotion. But for me, just like literally from Mandela to Craig, I can just straight up tell you, bro. I've never had a fan come to a show yeah. and be like, "I heard of you from a playlist." <laughs> Nothing wrong with it, you feel me? Majority of the stories are something like what you're saying. Somebody that knew me or someone that came to a show or there's a connection. There's ne I've never had, and there's no, I've done playlisting, you know what I'm saying? And, and playlisting has also kicked me in my ass before because yeah. Spotify doesn't approve of all the playlists. You know what I'm saying? So there was like some discrepancies and some like shit that I had to go through with Spotify, mm. but that's neither here nor there. But I would say though, not even a follower. No one's ever inboxed me and been like, yo, I heard about you from a playlist. But I, I can show you messages on messages on messages of people saying, I came to your show, or my homeboy heard you, or I, my homie was playing you in the car, or my dog did a video, or my homegirl's in your video. It's mostly real. So with the 13,000 plays, yeah. bro, with no playlisting, and I will say <laughs> that Spotify picked it up. Spotify has done some pushing of it. Which is never, which has never happened for me. Really? You know what I'm saying? And we think, like me and my manager, my team, we think that it came from all of the pub, all of the magazines. So shout out to Source, shout out to Dizzler, shout out to We Out Here Magazine, Atlanta Week, yeah. everybody who wrote about it. But then also all the people who press say. So wow. there was like over a hundred people who saved the song, and that shit matters, like the save rate. So right now it's like 500 people have saved it, or more. So shout out to everybody who pressed save. Let's say someone wants to build a house, they have the means to do it, they have the money to do it, right? Gets a team of contractors, gets people to come, and all that person really has to do is sit back, maybe direct if they want Correct. to, maybe be like, I wanted the battle right. here, and that's why I said, right? Yeah. But then there's a person who literally is on that team or joined a team to build a house. And it's like, to for me, the difference between playlisting and just doing it natural is like that. Some playlisting is more like getting the people to come build it, getting the contractors, mm -hmm. getting the construction workers, hiring the people to build it, yeah. or just going to buy a house that's built. Yeah. Then just building it on your own, literally rolling up your sleeves, yeah. drilling, hammering, piping, all of that. And it's like, both end result is a home, but with the building it yourself, you earn a hard no house. I 
know people who are 50,000 plays, 100,000 plays. Um, I know people like that, that weren't in the source. They weren't on this list. They didn't have a DJ Envy shout out. They didn't do podcasts. They weren't meeting up with people and messaging people. And they just went to that playlist, which is nothing wrong with mm-hmm. it, but. Like, if you don't know what you're doing with those things, you know what I mean? You're really just spending money. For sure. Um, if you don't know what you're doing, you know, really showing people and doing the right things. Cause overwatching you from the years, you've done what it needs to be done. You've you got photos, you got videos, you got uh uh, uh shows, you got merchandise, sure. you're doing the thing, acting, you're doing the things that as an artist, that's what we need to be called a legitimate artist. One moment, hold on, hold on. I'm forgetting my thing. Oh shit! Oh word. <laughs> uh, uh, let's go. Magic, yes sir. You know, locals only. Yes hey, sir. Hey, shout out to Swimming though, seriously, sir. man. Yes, um, but no, like with, with artists, I notice that sometimes we skip steps in the process. For sure. So which kind of brings up the practice, process, you know what I mean? Um, when you are preparing for, you know, a show or to make that next move, what is your process? Like, what do you, what do you do? I need to have a conversation with hundreds of people. People like you, people who paint, people who draw, people who do graphic design, people who do photography, people who are marathon runners, chefs, or they do pottery, or they make earrings. And I need to hit up, even to just feel comfortable in saying that I'm about to do something, I need to start talking to like hundreds of my creative friends. And some of them that aren't even artists. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? They might just be parents. I just start conversations. I start talking to hundreds of people. I feel like building with them and like figuring out what they're doing supports what I'm doing. Right. You know what I'm saying? Yep. So it's like, if I start a conversation with you, we end up here. You know right. what I'm saying? So it's like, I could be talking to someone and they're just putting out a new shirt. Now I'm getting the shirt or they want me to wear it in a music video or so all the conversations and just that connection, like I have to make connections. I might even start talking to strangers, you know, like before COVID, for example, I may literally get a stack of flyers, 500 flyers, and just put on some shoes I don't really care about yeah. and park downtown and just walk around and meet 500 people. Grabs hitting the floor, for payment, sure. just, just like payment. how we learned, yeah. I understand why artists want to be signed. I understand like the benefit of a label, especially a bigger label, because they'll do that for you. As an artist, I understand when people are like, I really don't want to go hand out flyers. Mm-hmm. I just want to create art. And they're like, that makes sense. You know what I'm saying? And this is why people, but, but, I understand why I understand. people need a promoter, why people <laughs> need a manager, or they need, you know what I'm saying? So for me, I just can't wait, bro. I honestly feel like even with 10,000 plays, 13,000 plays on a song that I just put out a week ago. Yeah. I still feel the same hunger as 100 plays. Wow. Like, I still feel like my song just got played 100 times. Like, I'm like back to the drawing board. How do I get another 10,000? You know what I'm saying? So, those days when I'm when I was deciding to go hand out 500, 800 flyers, it's because I'm feeling like no one hears me. I'm feeling like no one's listening to my music. Who's telling people about me right now? You know what I'm saying? And I have to, I'm so hungry that I refuse because without a major label, you're playing with a handicap. Syndicated radio, for example. You put someone on that, we, uh, 102.9, for example, or 107.5. Those are stations that are a part of stations. You see what I'm saying? Like Alpha Media owns like Mighty Z100, We, and a country station and a gospel. They own all the shit. You yeah. see what I'm saying? Yeah. And then they might be owned by someone. I'm not sure. That makes sense. But yeah. if your song is with them, for example, yeah. you're automatically on all these stations. But let's say you weren't. Let's say you only were on We 96. For example, Laugh Not Cry Later by Drake, right? Yeah. They played that song every hour, Correct. right? Yeah. For like months. Every hour, you have the potential in, we don't even know how many cars have radios in Portland. It's exponential. But we can just say that likely there's a half a million people driving every day. So there's so much potential to get hundreds of thousands of listeners 
even if your song is just played for 24 hours every two hours, you still have the potential to be heard. So it's like hundreds of thousands. Yeah. And then think Drake is, and that's not the only station he's on. Correct. He's on every station in every city in the state. Yes. And that's one state. Wow. And it's just like, you, how do you compete with that? That's bro? crazy. You're literally playing against the fucking monsters, yes. you feel me? Like, yes. Yes. you can't, it's so hard. So like, when I think about that, I'm like, fuck, I need to go out. Mm. I need to hit up 400 people right now because these guys are racking up plays and they're sleeping. Just being on radio. You can't beat somebody who's on radio down there. The charts are ran by radio. If you're on the charts and you don't have radio, you're doing something fucking incredible. That's why I said this. I, I said I made a post, and I feel like I don't know if people took it the right way or the wrong way. Um, what did you say? I said that we did it without playlisting. We did it without having to pay people, and I said it's almost impossible to do without that. And I think people felt like I was saying it was impossible. Like, well, I've done this. Well, pat yourself on the fucking back. Yeah. Cause that shit was hard as fuck. If you get a thousand plays, bro, if you get a hundred plays, you know what I'm saying? And I think sometimes people think, oh, a thousand plays. A thousand people listen to my song. You gotta think more crazy. Maybe you had 10 fans. Correct. That shit a hundred times each. Correct. You know what I'm saying? Or maybe you had 50 fans who listen to an X amount. You had 10 fans and five fans. You have to really think about like the numbers and the people. And for me, yeah, I'm super proud about I've done 22,000 plays. I've done 80,000 or more plays on my own YouTube channel. But fuck the plays. Fuck the plays. I care about the people. Correct. I care about the comments. Because I see some people's video with 100,000 plays <laughs> and then five comments. We, we, we smell it. You feel me? We know that's false advertisement right there. Yes. Can I make people move? Like, there's some people who are influencers who are really popping on Twitter, but they can't get people to go fuck with their YouTube. Exactly, the call to action isn't the same. It's hard yep. to move people, yep. you know what I'm saying? So for me, that's what it's about. You got a manager now, right? Yeah, definitely. Shout out my manager, Max Denning. Um, he's actually been my manager, yeah, I think we started this 2019. He's a hard worker. Um, we went to New York. We made some moves out there. We went to we went to Vice. We went to New York. Um, we we performed in uh, La Grande, Oregon. We performed in uh, Seattle, Washington. Um, he actually helped put the Boogie feature together. Wow! Yeah, and he actually was able to reach out to Boogie and, and Boogie's team and, and really like kind of quarterback that. Wow! Uh, yeah, he's actually putting something together right now with a. Um, a semi-professional football team. No way. Yeah, and I, I feel like I can make the announcement, but I'm gonna just wait. But I will say that. Yeah, yeah. They're they're, they're a semi-professional football team. He's definitely helped me with stuff like the Source, Stizzler, um, DJ Envy. Just you know, finding people that we need to be in contact with. And anything I need, I could really ask him to help me with or to um to, to do for me. You know what Max is really Max. Yeah. Shout out to Max. Hey, Max is really very professional. I, I'm a very busy person. For sure. He told me he was going to bring the locals only. Locals only. You yeah, know what I'm talking about? locals only, man. $30. If you want to help us promote, we can do 25 You did. Hey, and he came through. Get you a shirt, uh, sweatsuit, track jacket, whatever you want to do, man. All but that. Yeah, um, he does stuff like that, too. Make deliveries for me if you need be. I think it just got to a point where I could do everything by myself. You can't. But why stress myself out like that? Managers learn to delegate. For sure. And it's like, okay, now I don't have to remember everything. I don't have to find everything. Correct. And we can we can do, we can be in two places at one time. Yep. That people always think they need a manager. Mm -hmm. Their manager is supposed to get them the booking. It's mm -hmm. supposed to get their money. It's supposed to sell their merch for them. Like you said, answer my phone call real quick, bro. Mm -hmm. I need you to do that. Oh, my IG is at only 200 followers. Go get my uh, following up to this. And it's like, really, that's not really what a manager for sure. does, I think. But with your relationship with him. I would say that, okay, having a liaison for whatever reason makes you more professional. 
I don't, you can go be like business for dummies or like just like Google it or whatever. But like, so I will say that even if it's not your manager, and I, I haven't always done this, but I've read that there's value in this. That if someone is representing you, it makes whoever they're communicating with think you're more important. Makes sense. So for that, <laughs> I, I, I wouldn't say not have representation. But for me, I only wanted a manager when things became too much for me to do. I did a hundred, I probably, I probably did a thousand shows before I had a manager. Correct. You know what I'm saying? Correct. I was, book, I, I was booking five show months before yeah. I had a manager. It just became to the point where I'm like, okay, there's so much money out here for me to yes. get. Yep. I need somebody else to find that back too. Correct. Correct. Awesome, bro. Shout out to Max. You're doing an excellent job, man. We yeah, appreciate man. you so much. Big Max. Um, seriously, that's it's really, really important to have a teammate on your side and stuff like that, man. Sure. Speaking of teammates, your lovely wife, the superwoman. Superwoman. I know you ain't here. I wish you were here because if you was here, I already know you'd be talking and talking. But, yeah, Sersky, shout bro, out to what is your wife's name one more time? What's her name? Tara. Tara, like the goddess. Tara, like the goddess. Okay, Beautiful woman, bro. I think, um, my favorite show, and I still can't get it, is bro, is that um, when we were at uh, the Olympus Bar. It was at... No, it was at, it was at, uh... The Big House? The, yes, Big House. House. That's where it was. Yeah, yeah. Then, was then my, I was there. When you did, uh... That was my last show. Bro. That was sold out 2020, the only... Really? Show. Yeah, that was sold out, and that was, that was 2020. That was my last... Bro, that was the last geez. time that I did a concert that I was on the flyer, and it was like my show type shit. Yeah. But yeah, she definitely performed. She was pregnant. And pregnant. Killed it. <laughs> Very so, beautiful, man. Very beautiful. How long have you guys been married for? Hmm. I think it was 2019. Nice. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. What could you say for artists how to balance their relationship mm -hmm. and their artist crap? Because I get from a lot of artists, my girlfriend don't support me. It's a sacrifice on both parts. Yeah. Like, if there's a show on Valentine's Day, for example, and it's paying, damn, it's just fucked up on Valentine's Day playing. But it's just, a, it's just, it's really just a sacrifice on both sides. And like, we had to work through it, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. It, it was definitely, wasn't always perfect, but it was always, she always supported me. Um, and if, without her, I definitely wouldn't be where I'm at. Like, <laughs> when it comes to like the acting stuff, for example, yeah. she was my manager with that. Like she booked me for everything. Wow. It was Netflix shit. It was Hulu. It was Discovery Channel. It was Honda, Xbox. She booked me for all of that. You know what I'm saying? I don't know what to say to the people whose significant other doesn't support them. Correct. Because she always supported. Yo, there's a show on the coast. They're saying they're paying this much, but it's tonight. Yeah. She'll literally drive with me. Just let's go. You know, like, let me sleep. She'll just drive. You feel me? So... Man, it's just sacrifice, bro. I've missed holidays, bro. I've missed important moments because I'm on the road or I have a video shoot or you you just have to give your all. You know what I'm saying? So like I know that I may have missed things or I spent a lot of time away from home just grinding. But I just try to give it everything I can and just show her all the love that I can. I'm not perfect, you know. I do slip up and sometimes I may act ungrateful. I just gotta check myself and Man, it's just sacrifice, man. Shit, bro. It's gonna be hard. Yes. It's not gonna be easy. It is easy, bro. We are blessed, and you should be hella grateful to your significant other. Good time. I agree. Because the learning experience is gonna be hard. Yeah. So last but not least, um, we wanna talk about the little, little the newborn. Yep, yep, yep. Who's the new angel that just welcomed to the family? What's her name? Little sis. Her name is Mahal Kita. Wow. Yeah. How did you guys get the name? It means I love you. Filipino. Yes. Half Filipino, half black. So yeah. Her name is Mahal Kita. Um, Donna Marie Laurel Cordell. Wow. So she got a lot of names. Yeah. <laughs> I got a lot of names too. Yeah. Um, yeah. But yeah, she's she's a blessing, man. Like I learn so much every day. It, it teaches me in all aspects. I take what I learn from being her parent and my nine year old. My nine year old damn near needs 24 hours too. Yeah. I take that work ethic and I put it into music. I put it into my grind. So it definitely taught me, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm getting you 
less sleep, you know what I'm saying? I have to function like if you just wake me up, sometimes it's hard for me to function. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But in my career, that may happen. Yeah. I might have to catch a flight at this hour to do this. Yeah. Hour. So it's like with my daughter, it's just teaching me more work ethic. It's teaching me to never stop. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because it never stops. It's a beautiful thing. It's it's really because she doesn't say words. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So like communicating with somebody for six months that doesn't say words. Yeah. It's it's been beautiful, bro. It's it's, it's uh, soul shaking, man. It's right. soul shaking. Hopefully we'll be able to hear her a feature with her goo goo a goo goo mama. <laughs> That's excellent, man. We talked about where you're at right now. We talked about your manager. We talked about the new song needed featuring once again Westside Boogie, hey. JC Cordetta, and the fucking Don of the greatest to ever do it. My steel left sharp and the homeboy Kenai, who is crazy on the LA scene. Just got that LA sound. It's got that fucking natural. Bye. Shout out to Kenai. Shout out to my cousin Gabe C for helping us. I understand why you have to earn it, but it's so hard to get that shot. So shout out to Westside Billy for believing in us and giving us that shot and being like, you know what? I will do a song with y'all, right. even though y'all aren't with a major label. You signed to Eminem. <laughs> yeah. You know what I'm saying? You yeah. signed to Interscope. So it's a little bit out of the ordinary for him to be working with us. But, you know, he gave us that shot. So, man, needed on all DSPs all streaming platforms type in my name swiggle mandela listen to needed man press save show it to a homie my approach has been like tough love you know what i'm saying so i want to say to the people who like have gotten that tough love from me um like some people might be like if you had uh advice for younger artists what would you say man for one if you really want to do this shit as a career it's some fucked up shit to say, and it's almost still tough. Yeah. It's still rough. Don't. Don't fucking get into this shit. And I'm going to tell you why. Because this shit is fucking slavery. What does Spotify fucking pay us? Like a half a penny sometimes. If you're ready and you want to work for free, I did shows for drink tickets for longer than I can remember. Yeah. I did free features. I didn't charge until somebody asked me how much was it and I had to think, oh, what is my price? Because I was doing them for free. Hundreds. That's true. If you're not <laughs> willing to do that, don't get into it. Don't. If somebody told you this is a get rich quick shit, they fucking lie. West side, like a million in this bitch. Okay. 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 Okay.